This is how you make this 3D cartoon text animation here in After Effects. Step 1, let's create a new composition. Rename. I'm gonna go with 1080p. Make it 9 seconds. Black background. Click OK. Let's select the type tool. Type in whatever you want. Press the letter S. Go to the text layer. Scale it up. Arrange it to the center. By the way, this is the Acura Expanded Bold. And from here, we're gonna go to activate the 3D right here. If you don't have these settings, you can click on the toggle switch and it's going to appear or disappear. Let's go to the geometry options. Here we got the extrusion depth, increase it. I gotta go with 60 and as you can see, the spacing between the letters is reduced. I gotta double click. I gotta click in between the T and the E, press and hold Alt, press the right arrow and it is going to add more space. I gotta do the same thing in between the E and the R and reduce the space between the P and the A. Now we're gonna collapse the layer open it up again and here we can go to animate click on it let's go to side and we're going to recolor the extrusion so let's go to the color click on rgb and we're going to select a black color for the extrude click ok right now you can't see anything but we can go and click on the toggle transparency grid now we're going to add some black strokes around the text aka bevels so let's go to the animate let's go to bevel color rgb scroll down and here we got the bevel option. Let's go to bevel style, change it to whatever you like. I'm going to go with the first one and decrease it to one. Scroll up. I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. Before adding the red stroke, we're going to need to animate this. So let's go to the XYZ rotation, activate the XYZ and bring this to the third second. And I'm going to start animating the X first, rotate it downwards and then animate the Y. You also can rotate it with the Z. Now let's go to the six second. Let's animate in the opposite direction. From here, let's select all the keyframes. Right click on one of the keyframes and go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now I'm gonna loop this by selecting these three keyframes, press control C, and let's go to the end somewhere here, press control V, and push the keyframes all the way out. So this is going to loop it. Right now it's kind of boring as you can see, but we're gonna need to work on it a little bit more. So let's select all the keyframes. And let's go to the graph editor, select these anchor points here and pull the handle to the left. I'm going to select the second anchor point, pull the handle again and about at least the third and do the same process. And it rolls like this, starts fast, slows down and it repeats. Now we're going to collapse this, press Ctrl D to duplicate select the bottom layer, deactivate the graph editor and let's open up the bottom layer, scroll down Increase the bevel depth to 2. Let's collapse it. Right click on the bottom layer, go to pre comp, click OK. Now let's go to effects and presets, type in fill, drag and drop the fill on the comp, deactivate the transparency, and there you go. And this is how I make this 3D cartoon text animation here in After Effects. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched